Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, the Pontiff on the Paul Pluto channel. Quick, quick, quick whist watch check. Panic! No! Rolex! <laughs> Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can uh, this is a a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com the last bastion of free speech on the interweb go there guys so tell me about this nautilus of 5726 what made you want it can i ask you that um i just had the opportunity to buy a nautilus at a well they say ridiculously it's an annual calendar i quite like with the moon face what i quite like about it is it's got the the day and the month in the separate eyes like that. Mm. That's actually quite, that's more expensive than your, you know, your 5036. It's just got sticks there, right? It's actually harder to do this, okay? I like having two, I like having two annual calendars. So yeah, it's beautiful. Annual calendar and dress annual. So these are, what are these going for? I saw 60, about 64,500 retail. Aussie or US? Uh, Aussie. Aussie. That's in steel too. It's in steel. This this is white gold, isn't no, it? No, it's steel. This is steel. It's steel. Oh, steel on the rubber. Yeah. They they do steel on a on a on a bracelet as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think there's a there's a five seven one two. Uh, I thought that's a different. That's not a that's not an annual calendar, but no, is sorry, it? Sorry, you are wrong. Sorry, yeah, they, so they do do the 5726 on a bracelet. Yep. And then they do it on the rubber as well. Oh, I see. It's kind of nice. The rubber's okay. I, I, don't, I don't hate it. I'm just shocked. See, there you see. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, okay. So they do it on a... It's actually quite nice. I thought it was a bit more scratched than that. It looks beautiful. It looks really nice. Maybe the, just the photo was crap. So that one's a 5726A, and then the one on the brace is a 5726... Slash 1A. Yes. You know what I told you? The slash 1 is tells you it's a... Oh, I see. Got you, got you. And that one, the, the one on the brace that is a blue dial, where the one on oh. the back is a different... See, they're a different colour. Oh, I see. Got you. And the mega difference in price. I just never thought I'd be able to get one. At a reasonable well, there's nothing wrong with this one. I don't think it was reasonable, but... Oh, no, no, that, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. It's uh, steel Patex. I'm going to take it down to the guy and see if he... I'm not sure if he does do them, the guy down in Melbourne, the Patek guy. Well, I thought he can only do... I'll find out. Yeah. I'm going to take it down to this one. But wouldn't you take it to Singapore? We'll go to Singapore and do it. Well, COVID. I'd love to go to Singapore. Yes. Can we book the flights today? Let's book the flights. So this is a rubber V, and you've got the original paddock strap as well, yeah, have you? Yeah, this is a leather strap, yes. Oh, it's a leather strap, yes. 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 So rubber V do a specific one for that model. How much does it cost? What, the, that, the rubber yeah. V? I'm not sure. Rubber V is usually about two, three or four hundred dollars. Maybe it's more for this. Paddock. <laughs> the pushes on are beautiful too. They're just beautiful and it's easy to set i found that i needed help when it, you just use, use a little toothpick you don't use the little pin it comes with no same basic movement as your other one you know that as the uh gold yeah it's got the five so so that'd either be a but they, they which one would you take oh geez which one would i take there um you know what the heart would say the 5036, the, the 5036, the yellow gold one. The head, the head would say 
But you never know that that might become a. Yeah. The price compared to retail, I think that's a bargain. Yeah, it is. It is a bargain. It is. Look, I I think myself, if if they if it was I I I think the gold one is beautiful. But you know, it's it's one of these things, Dave. You've got to um. There. It, it is a nicer annual calendar. It's got the separate eyes. They do that in the 5396 paddock in mm. gold. That has True. the separate eyes there. But you'd have to say out of all of these, yeah. the value is, oh, the PAM is also good value, but you'd have to say the Vacheron. Oh, the Vacheron, yeah, at $10,000. Mm. You know, that is, you love that watch. It's a nice watch. It's beautiful. The bracelet, look at the finishing on the bracelet compared to the, the yeah. roller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, you know, it's it's a, it's a league above, isn't it? Really, the Vacheron is just gorgeous. It's just a beautiful, beautiful watch there, and um, full. What a! I gotta say, Dave, you've got some beautiful pieces here. Look, the fifty-seven twenty-six people. That's a hot, hot, hot watch. Nautilus is super, super, super hot. It's sizzling. Can we go to Hourglass now to get another? Let's one? go and get another one. Fifty-seven eleven. Hey? Fifty-seven eleven to match up with it. Yeah. Because it's a run-out model. Nobody wants the old one, do they? No. Well, they didn't ten years ago, did they? No, it's amazing. What a superb, superb watch. It's beautiful. Actually, I don't mind the rubber bean. Now that I've looked at it, played with it, it's actually quite nice. It's made for it. It fits mm, nice. You've got to get used to it. You've got to get used to it. I understand it. You're right. I don't think it would be bad on the leather, but the le what no, is no, the leather? No. Black. It's black. a black, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that would be quite... Cool. But that is just stunning. It feels just a Gold's got a beautiful luster to it. You know, when you feel gold, it just... I'm going to get mine now. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> fuck. I, you know, I just... You haven't worn it? Not much. No, I haven't. I haven't worn it. Last time I wore it was Chris, was New Year's last year. Oh, really? Yeah. And you saw how that year turned <laughs> out. <laughs> you know? You've had your service. You got your service. Yeah, fully in serviced in, in, in Singapore. So it's all minty, minty, minty. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to wear it too much. What, you don't want to wear it? You don't want to enjoy it? No, I just, I don't know, just, it's just. You've got to enjoy this. I know, I know. Thank you. It's beautiful, that. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.